Hey girl, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Before we get into today's video, let's go ahead and talk about it. Yes, I did finally take my quick weave out. I washed my hair, I conditioned it, and now I'm just letting it breathe before I do my next thing to it, which I have no idea what that next thing is at the moment. So for now, we're just leaving the hair out, letting it breathe, letting it do its thing. And then I also took off my press-on nails, so I do need to redo those before this weekend. So that is where we are with the hair and the nails now let's jump into this video so i have plans on saturday to go to brunch with my son and your girl needs something to wear i do know i want to be casual and i'm leaning toward wearing some jeans and a blazer because the weather is supposed to be pretty nice on saturday so i did pull out three outfits that i'm going to put together and i'm going to try them on on camera so that you can let me know down in the comments section below which one is your favorite which one you will wear and then who knows maybe I'll be wearing the outfit that you pick out so let me go and try these outfits on and then we'll come back and talk about them okay so I have the pieces for the first outfit I have a pair of jeans I have a top and the blazer like I said so let's go ahead and dive into these pieces for the jeans I am wearing these white skinny leg jeans from the Gap and I'm wearing it with this tan sheer button down blouse from Express. And I just have it um, a button, a few buttons at the top and left a couple unbuttoned at the bottom. You know, I love to leave my buttons undone for whatever reason. I don't know. I like that. And I like the fact that it's a little longer in the back. So it covers the little derriere because the pants are pretty tight. And I don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Um, to that area so I do like that the top goes down a little further to cover that up and then I like how you're able to still see that detail when I'm wearing this blazer so the blazer is from New York and company and it stops right at the waist so that really allows you to see the little um, shirt tail hanging out in the back and then I love that it has this little um button detail in the back where you can like cinch in the waist or expand it depending on how you need to wear it so this is the blazer it has some stitching detail in there on the collar and then you know i have to roll up my sleeves i roll my sleeves up on pretty much everything that's just one of my styling tips when I'm wearing my outfit. So I do like to be able to roll my sleeves up. So those are the three pieces that I put together. And for shoes, I paired them with these flats that I featured in my Shein shoe haul. And I wanted to wear a pair of new shoes to kind of bring out the top in this outfit. And I love that they are flats because I will be doing a little bit of walking. So it would be nice to be comfortable um, while I'm walking to the restaurant. And I just like the way these look with a pair of skinny leg jeans. And then for handbag. And this is pretty much a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Alma BB handbag. And I really like this little dome shape. I like that it's pretty small and compact. So I can just carry the things that I'm going to need for that day. And not overload the handbag. And it looks really good with the outfit. It's not taking away anything from the outfit. I love a top handle bag. That is my preference over them all but I love the fact that it comes with a strap if I wanted to wear it on the shoulder or crossbody so that is outfit number one let's jump into outfit number two well, for outfit number two again we have our jeans our top and our blazers so let's start with the details of the jeans these are a pair of light gray wash jeans and I think gray is a great alternative to black when it comes to spring and summer. So I think these are a staple for your wardrobe. These are from Express and they are a straight leg pair of jeans. And then they have the raw hem at the bottom, which I really like. I have this bodysuit here also from Express. And this is in the color 
um, beige or cream and I love that it has this little cutout detail right here right above the chest and it is sleeveless so I have this tucked into the gray jeans and then as the third layering piece I have this really pretty tweed Chanel-esque like blazer um and it says the brand is Casper I've had this for a while so I have no idea where I purchased this from I may have even thrifted this um I don't think I bought this anywhere in the store I'm pretty sure this was a thrifted purchase but I just really love this piece it is a timeless piece I love that it has like these little fringes um throughout the blazer I love that it is tweed I love that it is like that checker print it's all of the details that I love in a piece of clothing they are all in this one piece so I'm not really a pink girl I don't necessarily like the color pink but I thought that this was a really nice soft pink that I could kind of pull off adding my personality to the outfit so um I did dress it down a little bit just to keep it a bit casual so those are the three pieces and for shoes I could have obviously worn those same flats from the first um outfit but of course your girl is going to wear some heels because that is my thing so I did wear these gray suede non-west pumps with the outfit now for a handbag i did have three options and i am not sure which one of the three that i would wear with the outfit so um, i'll just show all three of them to you so the first one is this cream or beige clutch bag from amazon and it just opens up like this and then you can toss your things in it i like the fact that it is small and compact again i'm not carrying a whole bunch of things but um it's just enough space for me to carry all of my essentials and have a top handle which you know is my favorite it does come with a thin little strap where you can um tie here and wear it across your shoulders but i probably wouldn't do that i would just wear it tucked under my arm just like this but that is one option an option i have is this off-white coach handbag I can't remember the name of this I don't know if it's the coach tabby or I can't remember the name if I find it I'll link it down below but it comes like this it does have my top handle that I love it does come with a strap that I can attach for crossbody hands-free access and it has plenty of room on the inside for me to have all of my essentials so that is what it looks like real quickly on the inside so again another nice little small handbag that I could wear with this look and then the last option would be this gray Michael Kors handbag here again I have my top handle it does come with a strap that I probably wouldn't attach to it um, for this outfit but again nice and small it may be a little bit bigger than the other two bags but still it's not overpowering it'll be good enough for me to kind of walk around and carry with me on Saturday so this is the third option I'm not sure which one I would pick so if you choose outfit number two let me know also which handbag you will wear with that outfit okay I appreciate it okay so that is outfit number two in all of its details let's move on to the third and final outfit so for our last outfit again we have our jeans we have our top and we have our blazer so let's get into the individual pieces so for jeans we do have these medium washed high rise boot cut jeans from express and i feel like i've mentioned express in each of these outfits so express call me but anyway back to the jeans they are high-waisted boot cut they have no distressing they have a regular hem at the bottom and for the top we have this really pretty soft pink satin cami also from express and it has the v shape in the front and in the back and it's just nice and flowy and soft and lightweight it does have a lining worry about any of your undergarments showing underneath but again I will wear a strapless bra with that because of the spaghetti strap and then for blazer I'm going to wear this white and I hope it's not too washed out but this white 
blazer from Shein. I think this is from Shein. I love the fact that it has a lining inside of it. You know how I am about my blazers and coats. I love when they have a liner. And I like the little um, lapel detail there. It doesn't have a split in the back. It's just straight. I typically like for my blazers to have a split in the back. But but this one doesn't and it's a little bit oversized so i definitely had to roll the sleeves up on this one and i do love that it's a longer blazer and it comes down to my hips so i really do like that about this and for shoes i wanted to jazz it up just a little bit with these iridescent multicolor heels from steve madden a handbag i am pairing it with this pink celine dupe handbag with the rose gold buckle opener here and it does come with a strap that i can use to wear it crossbody so that's good if i want it to be hands-free or anything like that again it's nice and compact it will carry all of my essentials so guys those are the three looks that i pulled together and normally when i do videos like this i have an idea in the back of my mind which one i'm going to wear but honestly today i have no idea which look i will wear on saturday so i really need your help i really need for you to let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite which one would you wear to brunch and again if you choose option number two please let me know which of the three handbags you will wear but if you stay to the very end of this video i really appreciate you if you're not a subscriber already please make sure you subscribe before you leave make sure you like and comment and i will see you in my next video video.